Hey guys, stay tuned for a bullion video where we're gonna talk about constitutional silver today. Before I do that, I wanted to give you the specials we have here at www.goldsilverpros.com. Something I'm very excited about are these five ounce silver bars, a gorgeous design made by my friend at Eagle Forge Bullion, made by someone who's been in the military and is a patriot and he's got four awesome designs. This is the skull and crossbones design, probably my favorite which is hand poured and hand cast. This is the Eagle Freedom design, which I love. If you're a big fan of Eagles and Freedom and that design, this is the Don't Tread On Me, where it's got the symbol of the snake from the flag, which is awesome. These are all custom guys. And of course, the classic Come, come and Take It bar, which is awesome. All four of these are five ounce bar designs each one is only 250 per ounce over spot that's two dollars and fifty cents per ounce over spot that's a deal prices are down on silver right now guys and with this sale this is a killer deal this is the cheapest we've ever had those bars also for my friend ryan davis who has been a metal worker for over two decades we have this really cool revolver cylinder with removable bullets each bullet is one half an ounce of silver there are six of those so you get three ounces and you get three ounces in the cylinder itself. They're laser etched on the top as well as on the bottom. And these are professionally done by a professional metal worker. And look at the action of the bullets. They slide in and slide out perfectly. Perfect custom fit. And of course, you can take them out and play with the bullets themselves. And we may be just start selling the bullets by themselves as well. Six ounces. These are at a limited time, $425 each. That's a sale cheaper than you can get anywhere on the net. These are limited time only to the stock that we have on hand. Definitely with the prices of silver moving down over the last week, take advantage of these guys. Welcome to Gold Silver Pros. Hey everyone, this is Rob Keats with Gold Silver Pros. And today I wanted to do a different type of video than we do. And that is educating you about the different types of silver. And as you can see here on the tray that we have in front of us, I've brought out what is called often junk silver. Now, what exactly is junk silver, uh, you ask? And it sounds like something maybe that you would never be interested in. But in actuality, it refers to silver in coinage minted prior to 1970 in the United States that had some level of silver content in it. Most of the coins had 90% silver and they are from 1964 and before, dating all the way back to the war era. 1965 to 1970, we had some Kennedy half dollars, which were 40% silver. It was sort of after we decided to have silver, uh, we kind of brought it back on behalf of Kennedy. And there's that five year period where, you know, those half dollars had 40% silver in them. But the majority of the coinage that has real silver in it is from 1964 and prior. And what I wanted to show you are basically three different types of that silver. So here what we have are what are known as uh, pre-1965 half dollars. And those essentially have 90% silver in them. I'll get a close up for you. They have the, the Lady Liberty design. And there's also the Ben Franklin ones. Um, I'll see if I can find one of those. Here we go. Here's a Ben Franklin. This is in really good shape. Look how beautiful that one is. And you can tell that it has silver because if you look at the spine or the side of the coin, you don't see that copper line in there. And that, and then you know that you have a coin that has a lot of silver in it. And of course you can look at the date. We have the date on this one as being 1961. So that one, you know, based upon the date, and by looking at the side of the coin that you've got silver in it. Now you can get these coins at your local coin dealer, of course, here in Grapevine, Texas, at our Gold Silver Pros store, we have a lot of this. We have bags and bags of the half dollars, the quarters and the dimes that you can purchase. And we sell it basically at their silver content by weight. So you can come in and buy a bag, we'll weigh it out and give you the appropriate price. Here. Okay, so this is one of the dimes that you can get that have silver in them as well. And as you can see, looking at the side, there is no copper line there. So that definitely is a silver dime. You can also tell by the date, if you look at the date of that coin as well. And these carry uh, a certain amount of silver in them as well, 2.25 grams, I believe, which at current value is somewhere between $1.60 and 
uh, 70 per coin, depending on uh, the price of silver, which is hovering somewhere between uh, $22.75 and $23 right now. There's calculators online in which you can calculate how much each of these is worth. Of course, they'll come with a certain premium too. And I wanted to point out that all of these coins essentially are coming with higher and higher premiums and that junk silver is making a bit of a comeback. That's right. Prior to about 2015, 2016, junk silver was pretty easy to find. However, it's got more and more difficult to find as people have started investing in it. And you may ask why you want to invest in junk silver. Well, one of the reasons that you may want to invest in some of these pieces is because it has value and it's small denomination silver. So if you're worried about the dollar not holding its value and the price of gold and silver really fluctuating a lot in the next few years, then you may want to consider instead of just buying one ounce silver coins, whether it be a generic coin or an American silver eagle, you may also want to think about investing in some of these coins as well because there be, there'll be less than one ounce. And so it's essentially the same as saying I'm investing in fractional silver. I'm investing in less than one ounce of silver. And the easiest way to do that is through these coins. Certainly you could buy a one half ounce uh, silver coin, but the premiums on those are usually pretty high and they're not quite as popular. Sometimes those can be hard to find, you know, at your, your local coin store. Sometimes they can be sort of difficult to, to locate. And a lot of people don't recognize those coins as well because there aren't as many, but everybody recognizes the pre-1964 coins that have 90% silver and then the 65 to 70 Kennedy half dollars that also have silver in them and they have 40% silver. So looking at this coin here, we have a, okay, so what we're looking at here is a 1964 Kennedy half dollar. This one is gonna have 90% silver in it because it's a 1964. This one's worn a little bit, as you can tell on the edges, it needs to be cleaned up quite a bit, but you can tell again, looking at the spine of the coin or the side of the coin, that you basically have all that silver content in there. Now you may be wondering, how do I tell the difference between a coin that has 90% silver and one that doesn't? And that's what I'm gonna show you next and how to determine that. Okay, so here on uh, your screen now, I have two silver dimes. One of them is a 90% silver. One of them is mostly copper with no silver content in it whatsoever. Uh, can you tell me which one has the copper in it, which one is silver? Well, the first clue is the silver coin, which is this one here on the left, has been worn more over time. And you can see the face has a little bit of wear on it and it's not quite as shiny. The new one that has copper in it is much shinier. Of course, you can tell by the dates on the coins as well. You can simply look at the dates and know, but you can also know by look that this one looks like it's been around the block, so to speak. You can also know by turning the coin over on its side and focusing on the side, and you can tell that that is all silver there, 90% silver there. You don't see the copper stripe in that coin, but on this one, the newer coin, if you look very closely, you can see the copper stripe in there. Now on the newer ones, they're making it harder to see the car copper uh, because the outsides are more clad in the other cheaper base metals, but you can still tell that that's got copper in that coin, and then that's not silver, but that one is. In addition, they have a little bit of a different ring to them as well. These will have a more tinier ring and these will have a more hollow sort of ring to them if you drop them on the table, which we'll do here in just a moment to show you what the difference in sound is. But again, very easy to point out. This one looks like it's been circulated more, which makes sense as it came out pre-1964. You can tell the head design is a little bit different. This one has a little bit more of a gloss to it. It's a more shinier uh, in the silver which while it can be polished, has a little bit more of a matte finish. And then again, you look at the sides and that tells you right there what you've got going on in terms of overall silver content in the coin. Next, we're gonna do the sound test and we're gonna show you what the differences are and how these sound like. All right, so I have brought a plate here so that we can test how the different sounds are. And the first coin I have is the 90% silver and notice how it has a higher pitched sound when you drop it. I think we'll do that one more time. 
just a little bit higher pitch. And here is the newer coin that actually has more copper in it. Notice how it's a little bit more of a duller thud. And going back to the 90% silver. A little bit higher of a sound there. And that's another way that you can test it. The best way really to test it is simply to take some that you bought from your local coin dealer, drop it on a countertop where you can shake the bag and you can hear that high pitched sound of the silver smacking together. That's a lot different than what you'll get with a coin that has a lot of base metal in it. So again, that's essentially how you tell the difference between 90% silver and the rest of silver. And remember that it comes in major denominations. Over here on the right, you have the half dollars. Remember, 90% in the half dollars, 1964 and earlier. 65 to 70, the Kennedy half dollars had 40%. The quarters, 1964 and prior are 90%. And the dimes also, 1964 and prior are 90%. And remember that when you go to your local coin dealer and you buy this type of coinage, that they're gonna weigh it based upon the amount of silver. They're going to tell you how many grams of silver is in each one. Each one of these has a fraction of an ounce in it, maybe even only just a few grams. And then they're going to price it based upon the silver content, the spot price, plus a normal markup that you would get in any coin store. That has been a little bit of education on the 90% what they call junk silver or what I like to call constitutional silver because it was money of the realm 1964 and prior before we started taking precious metals out of our money. And that goes to show you what money is worth today. Not very much because it's either paper or it's base metal content like this coin right here. And even though they look shiny and they look silver, they're not silver like the coins of old. And so we don't value them near as much. All right. Thank you guys for joining the program today. We'll have more education on different types of coins and bars and things that you can buy in your local coin store. And we'll definitely bring those videos to you every week. Next week, I'm going to talk about whether you want to get it invested in regular rounds or whether you want to invest in minted one ounce silver coins. Stay tuned for that one because they have a lot of different coins that we can talk about there. Till next time, this is Rob Keens of GoldSilverPros.com. You can shop in our store by going to www.GoldSilverPros.com. We have lots of deals for you. In addition, you can visit me here in Grapevine at the store, and we can talk about what you want to purchase. And if you're interested in our deals, join our Discord and Telegram channels where you get first notice on specials that we have in the store. Hey, thanks for watching. We selected these videos just for you. Check them out. And remember, $4.99 a month keeps the lights on and the channel going. So join our Gold Silver Pro supporter membership. We appreciate your support. Keep stacking.